Hey, what's up everyone? It's Shannon with Hotspot Getaways Travel Company. We have just arrived to Animal Kingdom this morning. There's a few people walking in just because everybody's getting parked and everything. We're parked. Um, I wanted to film the intro here so I can talk without having my face mask on. Um, so I will see you guys when I get into the park. Okay, so I just went through temperature screening and bag check. We haven't officially scanned into the park yet, but that process was super, super easy. So all you do is you walk through this tent, they scan your forehead, send you on through. And then what happens is all you're doing is you walk straight through security. You don't need to take anything out. Um, I got pulled to the side. All I had to do was take everything out of my bag and then put it all back in. I think they pulled me aside because I have a battery pack for my phone. So that way I can record all day. So yeah, it was very, very simple process, very easy. So see you inside. Okay, we are officially in Animal Kingdom. Super, super easy. You guys can see behind me here that there's literally no line. So we just walked right up to the kiosk, scan your magic man, and then you are good to go. All right, so I wanted to just show you some of the crowd level size here in Animal Kingdom. Granted, the park hasn't opened yet. We have about five minutes till it opens. Um, but there's still not a lot of people here at all. Right, Carolyn? Right. <laughs> there's nobody in here. Granted, we did make sure not to head to Pandora first because we figured that's where everybody would be. Um, so we're just kind of hanging out, walking around, seeing what there is. But it's very strange having the park this to ourselves. <laughs> Getting a nice welcome greeting today. Dino Land USA is this little cart here. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn. <laughs> and I got this little tiger tail twist. It looks so cute. It looks just like the uh, Cheshire Cat Tails at Magic Kingdom, but it's got little orange stripes and chocolate chips. So let's give it a try. This might be hard. Okay, since I'm taking a drink and eating, I can take my mask off, which is nice. Mmm. Really good. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> What'd you get? That was my mom. That's me in the background. You got something to eat? What'd you get? I'm vlogging, mom. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> when you have Disney World out here. <laughs> over to go ride Triceratops spin so they can have people go on it. But it, there's nobody in here, look. Hi! Good morning! Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Where do we go in? Right here? All the way down there. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Look, there's nobody. <laughs> they said they're warming up the ride for us, so when we get on, it's warmed up. <laughs> Are we 
Okay, here we go. Only people on the ride. <laughs> okay. Wait, where are you? Go oh, you guys just got in any one? Okay, here we go. I was following the rules and going to my number I was standing on, but apparently we could just get on any one. Okay, I gotta buckle in. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This is crazy. I'm on a ride by myself at Disney World. There's my sister. My mom is somewhere back there. I don't know where she is. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. Okay, so while we're here, I might as well tell you guys. So all of these rides at Disney, like Aladdin's Magic Carpets, Dumbo, this one. Oh, we're going up. The front row controls woo, the height. And the back row controls the tilt, so you can go back and forth. Oh, we're from my mom. <laughs> Woo! So you might want to have your kids sit in the front row if they want to be able to control up and down. And then you guys can sit in the back and control the tilt and going back and forth. Woo! I like to take myself up and then quickly drop. Makes it more fun. Woo! <laughs> Where's my, where my sister? <laughs> oh my gosh. We have this entire ride. Woo -woo. Should we get a little tilt action going on? Let me reach back. Oh, 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 we're tilted. Whoa. <laughs> this ride tilts a lot more than Tumbo. Hi. <laughs> Well, that was super cool. We had that entire ride to ourselves and there's still like we still haven't seen another person. There has still been nobody. It's 815. Nobody is still around. You can see we literally have it all to ourselves. So we are going to go ride dinosaur. Oh yeah. Gonna go ride dinosaur. See you there. So you guys can see here dinosaur says five minute wait but it is completely walk on. Nobody's even here. Yeah. We're here. <laughs> Thank you. First guest. Thank you. <laughs> First one's on the dinosaur ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Ooh, survivors. <laughs> it's like we rented out the ourselves. I know. I know it is really weird. <laughs> okay, we just got off dinosaur where we had of course the entire car to ourselves because we still haven't seen another person. And then we were getting off the ride and they said, Do you guys just wanna go on again? And we were like Sure. Okay. So they were like, okay, rebuckle your seatbelts. And they let us just go on for a second time. But I forgot how intense that ride was. Like I genuinely got kind of scared at some parts. I was like, I was definitely screaming. I'll insert the photo here from our magic bands. Okay, we have made it over into the land of Asia. And guess what we're gonna ride? Who can guess? Mount Everest. Mount Everest, of course. I'm gonna flip this camera around and show you guys. There's still nobody here, nobody. We're walking, you can see Mount Everest a little bit in there and up through the trees. But again, there's another vlogger. Hi, hi sir. Okay. But there is still just nobody here. Nobody here. So, Carol Ann. What do you say we try to ride Mount Everest like three times in a row? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Here it comes at you guys. Okay, we are in the queue line for Mount Everest. Walking around. Normally this is a very long queue, probably at least 90 minute wait. It's five um, minutes. Yeah, it says five minutes, but I think we're gonna walk right on. Let's see here. I love 
Disney's queue lines. Like, I don't mind waiting in line. Okay, I do. I like this. I like walking on everything, but <laughs> they're so themed and there's so much to see. And especially here at the Mount Everest one, all of these artifacts are actually from the country of Nepal, which is really cool. So I'm going to slow down. See? All this cool stuff is actually from the country of Nepal, right there, it's a map, and for Mount Everest. All right, we'll see you when we get on the ride. All right, here we go. Woo! Ride number one on Mount Everest. We're gonna try to ride it three times in a row. Yes. Here we go, ride number one. <laughs> oh. We just got off of it for the first time. That was crazy. <laughs> here we go, ride number two. Okay, here we go for ride number two on Mount Everest. My mom came with Carolyn. Carolyn, ride number two. Woo! Here we go. done with ride number two. Here we come back in for yeah. ride number three. And that's about all I can handle. <laughs> she wants to try five. Yes. Because there's no way. We might as well just keep riding it. But I think three, three might be my max. Oh. Three might be my max. <laughs> Walking through the queue ride again and we'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, here we go. Ride number three on Mount Everest. Here we go. done riding Mount Everest three, three times, times in a row. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And on our last one we were like, we better really soak this up because Disney World is never going to be like this again unless there's another weird pandemic in 10, 20 years. Mm. But it was so nice. Like we literally just got off the ride, walked through the queue line, got back on. Got off the ride, walked through the queue line, walked back on. Didn't have to wait one single time. And what's nice too is you can ask the cast members. You can always do this, but Right now, they really don't care <laughs> um, because you can say, hey, can I sit in row one? Can I sit in the last row? Can I sit here? Can I sit here? And they'll glad you put you wherever you want. So be sure to ask them if you have a specific area you want. Um, I do want to talk quick masks on rides. So I notice my face mask when I'm walking around the park and some people are like, oh, I don't want to wear a face mask on rides. But honestly, I have not once even realized I had a face mask no. on. Not at all. Well, I'm on a ride because I'm taking in the ride. On a, like, I you don't even remember. Yeah, yeah, I don't even remember that I have my face mask on. So it's been really nice. It's been really, really good. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> all right. Where you're going to head to, we don't know. Let's see where we head up. <laughs> okay, just another crowd update here. Oh, yeah, Yak and Yeti. We're going to have lunch there. So we'll tell you guys how that is. Super <laughs> excited to have there. Um, I hear a lot. Of, what's going on? Oh, okay. <laughs> a bunch of just huge cranes or something? I don't know. Oh, you can see the tree of life through there. Right there, tree of life. All right, we can go to, yeah. Yes, Africa's. Yeah. Right straight ahead, and then um, we've got a little bit on your right. Thank you. Okay, again, crowd level non existent. <laughs> 
So here at Animal Kingdom on July 22nd, 2020. Oh, I spied some animals there. There's some people. We're not the only people in the park. Oh, Goofy. Wait, I want to see Goofy. Let's go run and see Goofy. Okay, we're running. How do you know, Mom? Oh. Oh, man. Here he comes. So for those of you asking how some character things are being run, this is what we've noticed at Animal Kingdom. The characters will come by on floats. Goofy right now. I know Mickey and Minnie come later. Look, there's Goofy. Oh my gosh. Hi, Goofy. Hi, Goofy. Hi, Goofy. Goofy's in his little fishing outfit, it looks like. Goofy. <laughs> okay, that was cool. So yeah, they're doing little cavalcade parades like that. Um, they're at random times because they don't want crowds to form, of course. But yeah, that's how they're doing it. Okay, so we just got to the relaxation station here in Animal Kingdom. Whew. So this little baby can come off. Mm -hmm. It's honestly not too bad till I take it off and I realize, oh, I've had a mask on this right. time. <laughs> But it really isn't too bad. So we're going to hang out here for a little bit. And then I think we're going to head over to the safari to see how they are doing the safari rides. So we'll see you guys there. All right. So we are here in the line for Kilimanjaro safaris. So we'll see what we can see from our safari vehicle. I know they put up screens in between each row. So I've heard it makes it a little bit harder to uh, see. But it's also not bad. You can still see a lot from the sides. So we'll see how it looks. We saw lots of animals. I just played that montage for you guys here. And now I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. So we'll see where we end up. Okay, we just got done relaxing a little bit. We wanted a little snack. We have a noon reservation for Yak and Yeti. Um, so we all just kind of split one of the Mickey pretzels. I'll insert the photo here. And now we are going over to Pandora, which is super exciting because I have not been to Pandora yet, so I'm so excited to see everything and to share everything with you guys. I can't believe I've never been to Pandora, but it's been a long time since I've been to Animal Kingdom, but I wanna show you guys here. Crowd looks like it's picking up a little bit, but I've heard in this area of the park it does usually, but it will kind of fan out a little bit. Um, let's see here. Still not bad. <laughs> Not ever even close to what it normally is. See? Already cleared out right there, so not bad. So here's an example of people just on a bridge waving to their favorite characters. Uh, not much social distancing, but everybody has masks on, so they're being pretty safe. 
let's see here. I'm gonna get them coming through, I think. Here we go. That's so cute. Okay, that was super cute. And as you can see, just completely cleared out again as soon as they went by. It was like all of us in the entire park just went to see them. And now everybody's just nowhere again. All right, here we go. Walking to Pandora. We are heading into Pandora. I'm so excited. This is my first time seeing it. And it looks amazing so far. Let me show you guys. Again, you can see the crowd level is still pretty low here, but we're gonna check out the wait times for these rides. I'm assuming they're gonna be a little bit longer because it's Pandora and people really like Ride the Passage. Today will be my first time riding it, which is so, so exciting. I'm so excited. We're gonna ride that and we're gonna ride Navi River Journey. This is beautiful. Y'all gonna see what I'm seeing here, but look at how pretty. So we are in Pandora, the world of Avatar. Okay, they're walking slow, so <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys when I show you the wait times. Okay, still in Pandora. We are walking over to do Navi River Journey first. It is a 20 minute wait compared to it usually being about what, 90, 120? Sometimes two hours. So, and notice what we've been noticing too is it will say 20 or 30 minute wait. It will only take like five, 10 minutes at most. So they definitely jack up the wait time a little bit, but here we go. First ride in Pandora, Navi River Journey. Okay. Ride number one. Right here. You want to sit on the end, right? Yeah. Ma yena, ma Okay, we just got off Navi River Journey. It was absolutely amazing, so pretty. The animatronic, my glasses are fogging up. The animatronic at the end was so pretty. And now we are going to head out or head over to check out Flight of Passage. Here we go. So I just said to myself that Pandora has definitely been like the most busy place we've been, but I mean like, look, <laughs> this is what I mean by busy. There's like just a few other people, still plenty of space in between everybody easy to walk around we're outside not too bad but yeah this is about it i mean you can still see there's not very many people here at all all right flight of passage has a 20 minute wait 20 minutes compared to about 120 180 that it normally is so let's go okay we are in line now for flight of passage I'm not going to be able to record much on this ride like I was to not be River Journey. So I will give you guys my review as soon as I get off the ride. We just got off. 
flight of passage. And wow, that really lives up to the hype. Like I can see why it has a three, four hour wait all the time because I would wait three to four hours to ride that ride. It is incredible. I don't want to give away too much, especially if you haven't been on it, but you really do feel like you are riding on the back of a banshee. It's breathing, you can feel the heartbeat. The scenery is beautiful. For those of you who have maybe been on Soarin', but haven't been on this ride, it's very, very similar in the technology that they use. Um, it's incredible. It's, it's insane. I cannot wait to ride it again already. Hold on. Okay, we've made our way back across the park and we are headed to Yak and Yeti for lunch. So here we go. Again, still not many people. There's a little bit more people here, obviously, than this morning, but as you can see, walking around, it's, there's still barely anybody here. So it's really nice. Okay, we have made it into, oh gosh, the camera is like horrible, but that's okay. We have made it into Yak and Yeti. We got our Yak Attack drink. Let me read what it comes with. So the Yak Attack, I would flip them anywhere. It comes with, it's a mango daiquiri, Don Q crystal rum, and wild berry flavors. I think he said it was like strawberry and stuff. Um, and then I am having a safari amber ale. It's really, really good. So we'll show you a review of our food once we get that. Okay, we just got done eating at Yak and Yeti for the first time. It definitely lived up to the hype. What do you guys think? Did you guys like the food? The pot stickers were so good. The pot good. stickers were amazing. They were pork pot stickers. They're like a shareable appetizer thing. They were so good. And the sauce was really good Yeah, the good sauce too. was the really sauce good. My drink was, was great. Good. Oh yeah, you got, oh, I don't even remember the name of it. I'll insert it here it's when I find out. Yeti. But, oh yeah, like the yak attack. That's what yak it was, attack. the yak attack. <laughs> <laughs> and I got like a Southern Asian amber ale. That was really, really good too. So. We've actually done everything already, so we're just kind of relaxing in the park now. I think we're gonna head back to Everest, even though we already rode it three times in a row. It is nice and cool. It did rain while we were in there. So the park actually cleared out even more than it already was too, so it's crazy. But yeah, I think we're gonna go on Everest again, cause why not? Okay, here we are, ride number four on Everest for today. Cause why not? Here we go, ride number four of the day of Everest. Well, these just happened, but I had to. Look at how cute they are, right? Look at how cute. Look at how cute. I gotta cut that off, but I wanted to wear them, so they're cute. Okay, we are walking back to Pandora now. It's actually only about like 1.15, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's vlog here. Just because we've pretty much walked around and done everything and we've seen a lot, we're just kind of starting to do a lot of stuff twice. We already have done a lot of stuff twice. We rode Dinosaur twice. We've rode Mount Everest four times now. Um, so we're kind of just hanging out now. So I'm gonna wrap this up now, but be sure tomorrow we're gonna go to Epcot. So I'll make sure that video plays next. And until next time, see you guys. Okay, so I said that I was done uh, vlogging for the day and then we came to Pandora and we went to Santuli Canteen, and we got what I've been waiting to try, my blueberry cream cheese mousse. My mom has already apparently dug in, even though I told her <laughs> not to, to my chocolate cake with like a banana, with a banana thing on top. Um, but I'm really excited for this because I've heard really good things, so I'll see how it is. Want your Disney vacation planned for free? Head to DisneyWithShan.com to receive your free quote today. In addition, if you're looking to gain access to over 200 plus pages of Disney planning guides, then head to DisneyWithShan.com slash membership to learn more. Until next time, have a magical day.